Hey everybody in YouTube world, my name is Old School Nerd, welcome in, it is Wednesday, and we continue on this week reacting to amazing music, and today is one of those somber things, because you know what, we lost Michael Jackson a while back, and um, I remember the day when he passed away, I remember I was actually at a friend's house, and his mom came in the door and said, oh my god, Michael Jackson just died, and we we're like, what, you know, kind of freaked us all out at the time. And then, of course, just this last year, um, just, just a few months ago, uh, Edward Van Halen passed away. Now, what a lot of people don't know is, okay, that Eddie Van Halen and Michael Jackson have a lot in common. Why? Some people, if you tell them, hey, Eddie Van Halen and Michael Jackson, I mean, you know, they're like, no. <laughs> but... Technically, one of Michael Jackson's biggest songs of all time, okay? I mean, don't get me wrong. Billie Jean was huge, and all of his stuff in the Jackson 5 was huge. But if you don't know Beat It with that red jacket, I mean, really, okay? And, and the dance moves with the gangs, and they're just, they pop open the knives, and they're dancing here on the street, you know? And he busts, he busts in the door, and he's got his red jacket on, and he's all doing his Michael Jackson dance in the pool hall. Yeah! But what a lot of people don't realize is the guitarist who played that riff in Beat It was Eddie Van Halen. Now, I've done a, I've done a video before about a guy by, not by the name of Bill McClintock who does a bunch of different mashups, and he's actually a genius at it. He's really cool. Check him out. Um, and I may repost that video here uh, probably tomorrow to discuss how he does his stuff. But essentially, just I'm not going to go into it because it's going to take too long. But essentially, all commercially accepted music in the, in the music industry, going all the way back to the 50s, has a particular structure that you have to have for necessarily to make it in successful radio popular music. Which is the main reason why a lot of Rush's early stuff never got on radio because it was too long or it wasn't the right format. You have to have a particular format for radio music. And in fact, I'm gonna put the, the, the here's the link right here, right up there, okay? Check that little link out. That will tell you a little bit about what I'm talking about, but we're not gonna go into that right now. But what's really interesting along those lines is not only are Michael Jackson and A. Van Halen, not only did they co-op on this song, but it, technically around the same time that Van Halen released a particular song and Michael Jackson's Beat It came out, what people didn't realize is that timing-wise, tempo-wise, progression-wise, and format-wise, they're identical. Yeah, I, I, I know, that's, that makes no sense to you, but I'm telling you, Beat It and the song Panama by Van Halen have exactly the same time signature, tempo, and arrangement. Don't believe me? I'm going to get my beer out of the way so you can see it for yourself. Oh, by the way, because it's, it's a combination of Michael Jackson and Van Halen, I'm expecting between 7 and 15 copyright claims on this motherfucker. <laughs> YouTube's gonna jump all over this like flies on shit watch but it doesn't matter I don't care if I make a dime from this it's not about that it's about it's about enjoying the majesty and incredible greatness of Michael Jackson who's one of the genius guitar gods of my lifetime together here we go this is the Panama beat this mashup was done by Wax Audio. Check out his channel, but the link that I just sent you earlier, that's for Bill McClintock. Some of his stuff is some of my favorite mashups of all time. If you don't know a lot about mashups, you need to check it out. And if you want to see me react to more mashups, please let me know, because it's some of my favorite music of all time. Is Because I think it's just crazy that so many songs throughout history, because they're all industry standard, can be put together in all different kinds of ways. All right, guys, here we go. My name is Old School Nerd. Like and subscribe. Check us out. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the comments, ideas, suggestions, death threats. Kind of slow up on the death threats. Seriously, guys. I'm harmless, I swear. Here we go. Panama Beat. Hope you love it. By Wax Audio. Mm, where's my popcorn? 
Popcorn? Do I need popcorn for this? Eerie, isn't it? Seriously, I love certain types of mashups, and it's some a lot of mashup channels have become huge, and people don't realize the science and the engineering that goes behind doing mashups is shockingly easy to understand if you understand how the music industry works, and arrangement, and tempo, and yeah, it's um, I love arranging. It's my favorite thing to do in the studio is arranging stuff. It's what the whole plot of, of um, what's, what's the song with the girls who sing? The acapella, the girl. What was, what was the name of this? You know the name of this, this movie. There's like three of them. But the second and third one sucked. But the first one was great. The acapella girls, remember? She could layer stuff. That was her whole thing. Snoop Dogg thought she was awesome. Never mind. Called it. <laughs> I still don't remember the name of the movie. The one with the acapella girls who sang? The Barton Bellas? <laughs> I don't know why I keep going back to that. Okay, real quick, sorry. Um, okay, uh, a couple things you saw. Um, this was, uh, I think, 1984 tour for uh, Van Halen, right before um, David Lee Roth was removed from the band. You saw in the little clip, Michael Anthony was on, on a wire system and he was flying across the stage and his bass was Jack Daniels. If you've never seen Van Halen live, and I know it, you'll never see them again uh, because you know Eddie's gone and everything else, and Michael Anthony, and Sammy Hagar don't speak to Alex Van Halen and vice versa, whatever. Doesn't matter. His guitar solo, where he actually impersonates Mr. Jack Daniels, his alter ego, that one of the best bass solos I've ever seen in my life. Here's the best part. My first concert, my first live concert ever was Genesis, Invisible Touch Tour. What does this have to do with this? Nothing. But my second ever concert, Van Halen, the 5150 tour with Sammy Hagar in the Cajun Dome, three miles that way. That was my first rock heavy metal concert ever, and I will never forget it. And two reasons why I'll never forget it. One, you always forget your first metal rock concert, right? But the other reason why I remember was because it was 5150, and Van Halen's uh, management team and the, the group themselves were worried about getting a bunch of backlash because Sammy Lee, because uh, David Lee Roth was no longer there. So a lot of the songs that were Roth, David Lee Roth songs, they didn't perform live. 
including Jump and Panama. They played a combination of the stuff from the 5150 album, Too Hot for Teacher, then they played an equal amount of some of Sammy Hagar's stuff like I Can't Drive 55 and stuff like that. And Cabo Wabo. I have no idea why I shared that. Two things, uh, that classic logo with the lights, the VH lights, uh, that classic, um, this, uh, oh, yeah, this right here, this classic Van Halen with the lights and stuff. That's my big memory from that, from that concert was seeing, was seeing those lights. I remember that as a kid. That just blew me away. Uh, two other things, although you never really hear about uh, Eddie Van Halen ever being live with Michael Jackson, did a really good job of overlaying kind of a, a video of him doing the guitar solo with Michael Jackson. Um, can anybody in the comments tell me who was Michael Jackson's solo guitarist, his lead guitarist on his Bad Tour, Man in the Mirror Tour, Black and White Tour? By the way, if you can guess this one, I do have a prize for you. First person that can guess it in the comments wins a prize. I will be watching. Here's a hint. She also played in the Super Bowl halftime show with him. Look. Okay, real quick, um, the guy that walks behind Michael Jackson when he's doing the beat it and he's doing the, 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 the strut with the, he's doing his hand like this, the guy to his right with the white jacket and the sunglasses, he really creeps me the fuck out. Ever since I was a little kid, it was the only part of the video that would make me nervous. You know who I'm talking about? Like, wait, let me see if I can find him real quick. And I will. By the way, this was from the bad tour. This video right here is not from... On that tour it's from the bad tour he didn't start doing uh this guy right here on the side uh he, like the latino gang member this guy i just remember when i was a kid when i saw him with 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 the white jacket and the and the um the collar with the there was just something that was like he owns an ice cream truck but there's no ice cream in it you know what i mean <laughs> i'm such an asshole i'm sorry Anyway, so that was Michael Jackson in combination with Van Halen. This is called Panama Dream It, uh, Beat It. Believe me, if you've never seen mashup videos and want to know how they do it, I'm going to give you an idea. Right now, I'm about to go over there, right there. That's, that's the one I was telling you about. The previous link above there was for Bill McClintock's channel. Please check him out. But that's the one where I explain some of his stuff that I love. Check it out. What do you have to lose? You can trust me. I'm safe. I don't have an ice cream truck with no ice cream in it. Actually, I don't even have an ice cream truck. 
Mine says free kittens.